Folks, welcome back. Today is May 2nd, 2022. Recently, we spread 40 yards of gravel using just the front end bucket on this 1025R. Just this little guy took a little over an hour. Wasn't too bad. No doubt it was a big heavy duty task for the tractor, but it's cool to see what these little guys can do. You don't need this huge, expensive skid steer or anything else to get jobs done. You can still tackle them. They may take a little bit longer, but that's okay. These little guys are also a lot easier on your wallet. So today we're gonna to be using a 48 inch land plane. You could use a box blade, a lot of folks would do that, but I really love the land plane. You know, it's a lot smaller, a lot shorter learning curve. You just kind of drop it down and go. You're gonna see the blades, there's two rows, they're offset and they're not super high. They're not even as tall as the sides here and a box blade would be even taller. So they're not gonna trap a ton of material. This is not designed to move large volumes of material from one point to another. This is intended to kind of do your final grading like what you're gonna see today, where we take a rough grade, just kind of using the bucket just to spread it out a bit, bring this in, move that material where we want to, get the grade, the pitch, the slope. Now, since these two blades are angled, kind of both cockeyed back this way, it's gonna draw material over to the far side. So if you do want to, you know, like what I wanna do, make more of a crown here in the middle and then slope it down that way, I'm gonna start pulling a little bit more material this way as I need to, and maybe feather some back out around the edges too, but you can use that to your advantage. It just depends what way you're driving the tractor. Now we've used a lot of land planes on this channel before as well. The bigger ones, anything besides the 48 inch, are gonna have the scarifier or ripper shanks that you see up front. I really haven't used those a whole lot. I don't think actually I've used them at all on my land plane. So, and while I know that there's a purpose and a place for them, for the most part with a land plane, it's kind of a grading tool, um, a maintenance tool for your driver once you have it installed. And so I don't really feel like I'm losing out on any value without having them on this model. All right, so again, 40 yards of gravel right here that we're gonna final grade for our turnaround area. Let's see how long this takes. As always, we're sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. They are made in America, have a lifetime warranty. If your tractor feels tippy, side to side, especially if you have a cab on it, then adding a set of wheel spacers can make a big difference. Get more information on them at the link down below.
Hey, I thought it'd be fun to take a look back from a year ago to see what we were doing then. And in that video, we were at the backyard out of the house there comparing the front hoe bucket to the backhoe, all right? The pros and cons of going each way, the front hoe or the backhoe, they both have some strengths and weaknesses, but it's a pretty good video. I'd encourage you to check that one out. We'll put a link up above.
Alrighty folks, we are all wrapped up, had this graded out pretty good. Do need to get a roller in here, or at least drive over this a whole bunch of times as well. Again, we're gonna be topping off the entire 2,000 foot of driveway uh, with 21 AA. This is just kind of the base layer that we're putting down. Really looking forward to it. This is a lot of fun to do. I have a blast uh, moving all this material out. It looks so good when it's done as well. But a couple quick notes for you. We do have the hitch hangers installed. I've got three 70 pound weights on either side. So six 70 pound weights, 420 extra pounds of weight on there. Probably didn't need all of that weight. Um, if I would have had them out here, I could have put on 41 pounds. That would have been sufficient. But these things are a great option. It's a good look at it where you can get extra ballast weight when you need it uh, to get some down pressure on there. Say you have a rear blade or a landscape rake or uh, for snow removal even if you want to. So a lot of different uses. Or if you have a weight rack or a ballast box back here and still need more ballast weight, that's another way to get that done. Something you did see me do today, and it works a little better when um, it's a little wetter like it is out right now, but you'll, you'll be able to do this even when it's dry, is you can actually still pull some material, not nearly as much as that box blade, but there were some low spots, some dips that were up here in the middle, and I didn't want those to turn into pools. So I was pulling some material uh, repeatedly from over towards the edges and, and bring that back into the middle to make more of that crown like we wanted to do. And that works really well. So while you can't do the large volumes of material like you can with a box blade, I was still able to do enough of that to get the work done today. We did this whole area in about 30 minutes. Again, this was 40 yards or 60 tons or 120,000 pounds of gravel that we spread out here with just this little 25 horsepower subcompact tractor. Pretty darn impressive. We're showing you the tools that we sell, so we don't just sell them without knowing what they do and how they perform. So this is a Dirt Dog land plane. We sell them for every size tractor, so 48 inches, 60, 72, 84, and even 96 inches wide, no matter what size compact or utility tractor you have. Whether you're looking for one of those or something else for your tractor, we're happy to help. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country all the time. And if you did enjoy today's video, we have this property out here. We have another location as well where we do projects. So this is showing the stuff at work, in action, not just willy-nilly, so you can see how things get done. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.